back to some more Amnesia, The Dark Descent of Madness. So we're continuing onwards, we returned to this uh, big old room, I believe we need to go through some more of these doors. So, uh, what the hell, let's see what uh, they'll leave for us, I suppose. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Yeah, what the hell. So watched a bit of, um, well not a bit of, actually I watched the entire movie Faults a bit earlier on and uh, yeah, it was a bit heavy duty so why not lighten the mood with uh, some, am some amnesia, why not. Alright, so, ah, okay, let's go to get the different things, whatever, I'm going to go through all these doors anyway, so doesn't really uh, matter too much about the map though, it's nice to know where certain things are. It's been a while since I actually played this game, but uh, there we go. But, uh, yeah, what the hell, we should be alright. Jeez, I wish the fucking lighting wasn't so ridiculous though. Let's see. The way it just fades to pitch blackness. I mean, like I said before, certain games did that very well, such as uh, Dead Space and Silent Hill. I don't know, in this game, I don't know, it's not bad, but I reckon uh, they overdo the uh, blackness just a little bit. That's, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, well, that's the. What the hell did we just get? Cuprite or something? This, got the calamine, cuprite. I, need, I think we need to get one more thing and then we need to mix it all together. So that should be a uh, pretty fine and dandy, like sour candy. Hmm. So to feel a bit paranoid now thinking anything could happen really. Because apparently there are things that do try to take you out at some point, And I'm guessing we're going to be getting near that point. And I can't seem to open this fucking door either. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Ah. Okay then. Thanks for giving the, me the uh, controller um, indication for that as well. But anyway. Okay, Jesus. That is... Uh, there we go, that's better. Yeah, something tells me our sanity is not going to be uh, doing too well from all of this. Yeah, so get the stuff out of the way. No more to pay. Get the hell out of there. And not much else there. Unless wait a minute. And yeah, no, of course not. Yeah, that's right. We'll uh, oh, what do we have here? Ah, here we go. To increase your health, to drink it, talk with me so I can decide the inventory. Got it, got it. Okay, so this guy, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with him. Are we supposed to hide, or... Did it say something about hiding in the darkness? Or am I supposed to drink that thing to get my health back? If you cut some... Really? Cut some bruises? And then again, I did have things collapse on me and such, so... Sanity, oh god knows. <laughs> Out fucking standing. Alright, well, guess we'll use that. All is good, perfect. Probably didn't really need to use that, but anyway. Huh. Yeah, 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 I'm trying, fucking trying, just that I don't want that thing to detect me. And there was a camera swiveling. Oh, no, okay. That, whoa, that motion blur, Jesus Christ. Okay, better turn that on, it seems. Oh my god, is it gonna play like this until I progress even further? That's just going to be fucking annoying, I'll say that much. Yeah, I get it, he's scared and all that, but come on, they could have. Again, they didn't really resort to doing this, something like this, in Silent Hill or in uh, Dead Space. But obviously this is not e either of those games. I mean, they're horror games, so... Screw it, I'm going to keep making that comparison until the end of this uh, game. Just for the hell of it. Even though quite clearly they are different games, but anyway. Uh, let's see... Where is... Are we meant to be looking for something else here? I'm not sure. How much oil do we have? Yeah, i got plenty. God, that is annoying. Ah, oh, of course, you still got that. Ugh. Okay. Ah, oh, good, at least the camera is back to normal. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> and that doesn't really do much at all. 
It's kind of annoying actually, but anyway. Oh, here we go. Get some of that, get some of that. Can't get a drink any of the wine, of course. Ooh, sock. What if making noise gets the uh, monsters to go after you? Or monster to go after you, so far I've only seen one rather bargain basement bastard. It's just weird how they do the darkness like that. So you're basically five feet away from something, and it's basically in pitch black. Anyway, why am I using the Imperial measurement system? Uh, anyway, I've got the Orpiment, jar of Orpiment. It doesn't tell me what the hell it is, but that's great. We apparently don't need to know. Oh, crystal clear. There you go. Yeah, we just need to mix it all together in the laboratory or somewhere else, I'm entirely sure. And yeah, we've already been through there. Okay. Hmm. Behind that door, maybe? I don't know. It's only one I haven't really tried to get into, so. Give it a shot, you old sports. Oh, God damn it, I'm fucking that again. Wait a minute. I must have been here before since I slid up. Although, actually, yeah, I think I was. That's strange. I wonder why that door is closed. Perhaps something spooky closed it, maybe. Yeah, that's right, I threw all the boxes aside. Okay, well, I think that's that. So now I just need to, uh,. I think go... Shit, where do I don't even need to go? Um... Mementos? Okay, yeah, that's great. Okay, I think we need to get back to the uh, laboratory. Oops. There we go. Alrighty, I wonder if the monster can climb stairs. I guess we'll, guess we'll find out at some point. Okay, entrance hall. Yep, I think we need to go back there. Cloth smelled of dessert, desert, and damp mask. The pieces lay scrambled on top, too many of them. He fought something, something, something. Anyway, whatever. Oh dear. That is uh, not a good sign. Can't even light that. Oh well. Wouldn't mind uh, some explanation as to what the hell the. Ooh. God damn it. What the hell some of these fucking gross are, but alright. Guess I'm not gonna jump over that. Okay then, well that's just going swimmingly, isn't it? So, oh, the laboratorium was over towards the right, so... Shit. Oh, that worked out pretty nicely. Okay. It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As you open the shutters, the French soldiers open a fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Huh, one would think they would have said gunfire, but there you go. Alright, so we're back in the laboratory. Let's uh, see if we can mix this stuff in here. I think this is all I'm meant to go. Let's see. I can just remember. Alright, that's why we're not going through there. Yeah, I think there was like a mixing place in here. Yeah, that makes all the fucking difference, doesn't it? already opened all this. Oh. What do you know? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. I find myself doing terrible things. I take comfort in you. Obviously the ends justify the means. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them, but they lust for power without restraint. Where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Now the road to hell is paved with uh, good intentions, I say. That's it. Apparently that's it. I'm not really sure why we needed the uh, whole... Uh, can I grab that? Huh. Okay. I'm not really sure why we needed that whole bloody transition thingy, thingy there, but whatever. And, oh, what do you know? Huh. Just pick 
picking up all sorts of goodies. Apparently I must have missed that the first time around. Now there you go, how's our sanity? Yeah, it's doing just fine. Okay. The hell out of it. And don't want to go down there, presumably. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, I guess I do. Oh, interesting, all different colours as well. Howdy, well. Probably should get this done quickly. Uh, burners. Burners. That's not it, is it? Well, I see the burner right there. So. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, there we go, this one turns on. Okay, got that, got that, that. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay. God, why didn't I think of that? Oh, for fuck's sake, I do have a fucking thing to use on. Bitch, fucking not. <sighs> okay, there we go, I just click on that. <laughs> Whoops, yeah, let's try that again. Well, thank God we've got plenty of spare liquid, apparently. Do that, do that, and do that. I don't know, we can't just mix them, but whatever. Oh. Like, mix them directly. That's, there you go. Perfect. And this will be the stuff that we need to melt away the, uh, the other stuff, so that's good. Pot of acid. Too bad we can't just throw it in the monster's face, presumably. Oh well. Get the hell out of there. And there's nothing else anyway, unless... Oops, yonk. Aha! There is nothing. Just as I suspected. Okay. Yeah, fine. <coughs> I don't know why I paused on the stairs there, but anyway. Okay, is that meant to be like an actual monster around, or is this just a... Uh, Ambient noises, I wonder. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting uh, up, so... Uh, huh. Well, whatever took down these uh, stairs must have been powerful indeed. Anyway, well, just one way to go then. One way to go, I think. Uh, or am I missing something? Better turn this damn thing. Okay, that's not it. There must be a different growth. I could, I could swear I came up from there, didn't I? Or did I come from somewhere else? Okay, man. looks like I'm gonna have to solve this with this. Indeed, indeed. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Thank god it sort of snapped into place there. Perfect. Question remains: Who did it in the first place? <laughs> Interesting. I can't pick that up. Anyway, well, back we go. He sat down by the Casbah wall. Casper Kreer, sweat poured from his forehead onto the sand-veiled ground. Ah, why is that just peachy? Howdy. So things are getting worse, it seems. Thank god we can bunny hop our way to victory. Pretty sure we couldn't jump in uh, Dead Space or in Silent Hill, so that's something. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. So, where the hell am I supposed to go now? Way to budge? No, I guess not. We can't. Presumably, we can't use the acid on that. Light streaming through there. So where the ah yes, I think it's actually wait. Where does this go? Archives. I'm pretty sure we've been there. So we'll just go over and yeah then. I think. Uh, I think this is it. Let's see. <sighs> I 
Damn it, where the hell did I come from? Did I come from the archives, I wonder? Let's see. Oh, actually, wait, did I have a hand there? I think I had a hand there up here. Let's just see if I can. Oops, no. Ah, uh, no, that says not it. Where the hell was I then? Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, is there a fucking map? No mementos. Eh, I don't think there's an actual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's an actual map or anything. Oopsie donks. God, that is some aggressive fleshy crap, I'll say that much. Hmm. Questions, where the hell do I go from here? Down here, maybe? Might be it. Pretty sure I came from there, so... Let's go into the, uh... Fabrica Equatoria. Sounds very exotic indeed. Whoops, yonk. Ah, there it is. Huh. Almost just like we could maybe squeeze through some of these gaps there, but oh well, whatever. Just use the acid. Hmm. Well, not quite as spectacular as using the uh, the thermite in Dead Space, but what the hell, it's not bad either. Alright, into the refinery. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin. Reserving a cabin on SS Hortensia, headed for London. SS Hortensia, eh? Did he really have to reserve it, or could he have just maybe stowed away? Who knows? Who knows? There we go. Oh, ready. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Because it's a horror game. Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Mm hmm. Okay, then. So, no straying, apparently. Yeah, fuck that stray wherever I feel like. That's not a good sign, is it? Oh shit, running out of these Tinder things as well. Uh, free, free Tinder boxes. Wow. Ah. Just like in uh, Fallout, free in New Vegas, and probably Fallout 4 as well, you never know. Might get that game at some point. At the moment, it's a little bit rough around the edges for me. Thanks for uh, rotating the camera there. Oh, god damn it! God, we can't even look at it for too long. Uh, yeah, still a slight headache though, and we can't drink any wine. Nope. But a wine to calm the nerves? Apparently not. Well, so much of that. Still this damn growth. What does it, all this mean? That is the question. Actually, no, I don't think I'll like that just yet. Okay. Ow. Whoopsie long. Ah, <laughs> For fuck's sake. There we go. Fuck me, the controls. Actually, before we go there, ah, oh, there's a few doors to go through, actually. Hmm. Sounds like Alexander was trying to do some sort of summoning thing, or he was trying to create some Frankenstein-like monster, maybe? Don't you know? That's what I'm guessing happened, and then the experiments just, uh, went a bit haywire. So, uh, to put it mildly. Now, yeah, let's find out. Why the hell did I do that? Let's just do that. It's not the fucking tinder boxes, of course not. So many things that we can light, though. Ah, well, ah, here we go. Perfect. At least we got our precious oil. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Out of the way there. And more things to. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Now, well, I guess it's only the, la the lamp at the very least. No, no more things to pick up. Well, so much for that. Oops. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so they're introducing the monster gradually, basically. Laudanum. What the fuck is Laudanum, I wonder? Alright. Uh, huh. How many of these have we got? Four of them. Yeah, probably should use more of this lamp in that case. Kind of annoying how they have that, but alright. Yeah, it's, we'll, uh, we'll roll with it. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. So, oh shit! Ah, it's about to say something there as well. Um, let's go back to that. Something tells me that might have been someone somewhat important. <laughs> um, ah, fuck. Turn. Ah, here we go. Whoopsie long. <laughs> uh, so I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. Tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it at all? Was there ever a complete orb? Okay, so that's what that meant. So the expedition apparently wasn't screwed at that, at that point. The chances are they would be. That's how these uh, sorts of stories tend to go. God damn it, so much wine and I can't even drink it. Oh well. You think they could have you drinking wine to keep your sanity up? Wait a minute, did I just... Huh. Interesting game. Okay then, whatever, I guess we're continuing through uh, here then. Hmm. Didn't loop the back, did it? Blocked from the other side, of course it is. Oh, looks like someone's souffle is going off there. So... Yeah, we can open that. That just leads us back to the, uh, yeah, to this barrel place. Okay, we've got to think through there. Can we actually crawl through there? We might be able to. Let's see, I'll just check this room out first. Oh, what do you know? God, I'll never get fucking tired of that. There we go. Some of those bottles are pretty damn durable, it seems. Ah. Okay. Whoa. Fucking camera. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> Not doing too well, it seems. Alright, fuck it, we'll just read the notes. 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Hmm. Melvin. Screw it. <laughs> shards could hold the key to everything. Uh, let's see, let me pick that fucking thing up. God, that camera's like... Oh, that's not good. And okay. Of course, one has to wonder what the hell the completed object's meant to do. Kind of 
reminds me of the marker from Dead Space. Okay, looks like uh, things are not so rosy down in this room either. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, well, at least we got the stuff. So, uh, yeah. What are we supposed to. That <laughs> jump scared. <laughs> not bad. So, what are we supposed to be doing now, actually? Um, we've got the another chemistry pot. We've got the lantern. Actually, speaking, we should put some oil into that. Uh, we've got that. So it looks like we just uh, travelled through this to get some backstory. I don't think there's anything else, as far as I know. Uh, oh, wait a minute. So there's this door. Okay, but there's this bit here as well. So can we actually go? This way. Oh, what do you know? We can actually crawl through it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, jump scares, indeed. Now, I'm definitely expecting a jump scare sometime around this point with all the uh, backstory we've learned. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that sounds squishy. Bang. Yeah, just half expecting something to go after me, and. Did I just hit myself with a box there? <laughs> Whoops, I think I... Okay, maybe I didn't. Oh, it's that fucking bridge, shit, of course. Ugh. Let's just use that, actually. There we go. Let illuminate the situation a bit there. Uh, Leandro, I don't know who the hell Leandro is. It's kind of detracting from the horror of this game, in fact. Leandro. Well, whatever. I'll... Uh, Check the matter later point for the time being. Let's just see if there's uh, something here to do. So there's something there to open that. We, ah, yeah, we got another tinderbox thingy. I'll also light that up. Oh, interesting, we can't move that box for some reason. Well, for everything that monster's doing, it looks like I'm getting more so hurt by these bloody red things than anything else. Ah, here we go. Ah, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, there's fucking red things. But anyway. Come on. Nothing else? Apparently not. And I can't move these boxes for some move these boxes for some reason. Huh, interesting. So the barrels are there as if they're barring the door. Oh yeah, they are barring the door actually. Yeah, that's right. I tried to get in through there, but I couldn't. Given the circumstances, I think we'll keep that barred. So let's just turn this thing. Ah, for fuck's sake. Yeah, let's see. Can I use oil on it, maybe? Uh, oh, I guess not. Oh, great, I think I might just wasted that. So it's clogging, crank and pulley contraption. Something. Well, what am I supposed to. See a fucking thing clogging it. And I can't just lube it up with oil. Great. And I can't just, yeah, I can't use oil on it. Uh, huh. Can I just open it this way, maybe? Oh, of course, of course. So, must we start? Maybe, I don't know. Have this door open or something? Is that gonna help? No. <laughs> of course, of course. Is anyone there? Really? That's what he's gonna be shouting. In the midst of all this carnage. Yeah, let's see, and of course I can't pick up the fucking candles. So what am I supposed to be doing exactly? Something is clogging the crank and pulley contraption, but uh I'm guessing I have to find an object to fix that. Oh, okay then, that was uh, pretty convenient. And let's see, no, nothing there. Hmm. What the hell do I do, I wonder? I can't access these damn barrels even. Hmm. Must be. Something I'm missing. Oops, yonk. Oh, for fuck's 
sake. You have got to be fucking shitting me. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Actually, is there a console? No, at least not with Tilda. Fuck. Now the horror begins. <laughs> Out of fucking standing. God, I can't believe I actually got stuck in the fucking terrain in a game like this one. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Alright, so it doesn't exactly answer what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Not getting stuck behind things, that's for sure. Now yeah, it says fuck it. Wait. Just in case something tries to barge in when I'm in here next time. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do a bit more exploration. God forbid, is that? Yep, it is. Huh? What did I miss? Was there something along here, maybe? Uh, New. Hmm. Bet you there's something in that room, but yeah, I don't know. Just new. Oh, it's really interesting how this thing's closed. I? Surely I must have gone through it. Probably had itself closed. Yeah. This room, of course. So, is there some? Is there meant to be something here, maybe that I missed? Let's see. Got nothing like going on virtual scavenger hunts. And let's see. Nope. Fuck it. We'll light that. Get rid of that. It was an evil bottle, you see. Had to just destroy it. And I think much else. Damn it. Well, at least I'm finding various things that I missed. That's, uh... Something. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Of course, the bones. Damn. Yeah, oh, right. Okay, well, we should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to carry it through here just fine and dandy. Like sour candy. I wonder if this is actually going to work. Um. Yeah, I don't know what I, what I was expecting to do with that. Uh, something is clo clogging the crank and pulley contraction, contraption. So am I supposed to use an object on it or what? Got no fucking idea. Presumably the bone doesn't do anything. I was kind of hoping maybe to pick out whatever was clogging us, but uh, yeah, actually fuck it, I don't think that needs to be jammed shut anyway. But just say that and then bloody monster will leave out. Huh. It's a bit of a noodle scratcher, this one. Again, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be expecting to these things to actually do, but yeah, this is... nah. Ugh. Maybe I'm supposed to be manipulating these things in some way. I don't know, it doesn't give me a hand or anything. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing on the other side that's particularly obvious. Okay, there's a bit of growth here, but apart from that, it doesn't really seem to be much else. Oh, wait, am I supposed to be using this rope? No, yes, no, 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 I guess not. And I don't have any other items. Chemistry pot. Hmm. Now let's see. God, now I'm getting desperate. 
Uh, no, of course that's not going to work. Pitch go Matrino. Must be something obvious that I'm missing, but what though? I mean, I don't see anything getting... Wait a minute. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, that's what I missed. Alright, alright. God, I can't believe it. I must have looked at that at God knows how many times. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on, what am I supposed to fucking do with it? From here, what? Really? Am I supposed to be getting higher or what? Oops. Yeah, well, stay there. There we go. Oh, come on! I'm right. Oh, there we go. I've had a fucking time. Jesus, the wonky physics. Alright, well, at least I didn't, didn't need the bone or anything like that, so let's just. Uh, turn. Oh, right, we need to do that. Turn that, and there you go. Oops, you're uncle. Oh, okay. Easy. Oh, God. Never gets harder than that either. <laughs> Yeah, let's see, what's my health looking like? Yeah, it's not that bad. And there we go. For once we're actually in a somewhat well lit area, god forbid. Perfect Amendo. So where the hell are we even going, I wonder? Cellar archives. Spookalicious. He crashed through the surface. Dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Yeah, that's how it is, isn't it? Getting, uh... Drowned in all that. Oh, well. oh, and speak of the devil. Yeah, no going back now. Yeti. So, is this meant to be a. Okay. Is this meant to be a flashback, I wonder? And speaking of which, if the water's this shallow, how the hell is there anything underneath the damn water in the first place? Okay, it's certainly uh Great. <laughs> it's only disconcerting, I'll admit that. Yeah, let's see. Where the fu- Oh, I see. I think it's actually right beneath me or something. Probably shouldn't be clipping through the box, but anyway. Great. And there's nothing else to light up. Okay then, well, maybe we'll have to make a uh, run for it. Jesus Christ. Still a slight headache. Oh, God damn it, I was bleeding a bit. Maybe I should just be trying to stay on the... on that... Jesus Christ. Okay, I think we'll need a bit of health there. Easy. So, I guess we can't take too much damage before we uh, end up dying. Take that. I certainly did everything, didn't it? Now, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, so is this thing meant to be invisible or what? Okay. Alright, well, as long as we stick to this, I think we should be alright. Ah, shit, I need a fucking key for that, don't I? A heavy gate. And it certainly is. And I can't do anything with it. Unless... Uh, no, I don't think I can. Don't really have anything to lever under it either. Yeah, I suppose that bone would have come in handy by now. Yeah, well... Definitely on the move. Great. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I definitely admit I wasn't expecting... Something like that. Kind of reminds me of the. Uh, oh fuck. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the bloodsuckers from the uh, Stalker series. Were there any in Stalker or Pripyat? I can't remember. Yeah, it's really uh, disconcerting having them running around in, in the water with you. Oh. Although they'd occasionally turn visible, though, unlike whatever the hell that is. Yeah, nothing like getting hunted by the uh, literal unseen. 
Here we go. Okay, I'm not really sure what that was meant to be accomplishing, but anyway. Oh, there we go, at least we got that. Yeah, that's not going to do much. Anything else? Or is this just to get some health? Hmm. God help me. Yes, just barely. <laughs> uh, not bad, not bad. There we go, perfect. <laughs> well done, well done Mr. Game. So, ah oh shit, which way did I come from? Whoops. I think it was from that direction, so... Just go along here, oh shit, or is this where I came from? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, this is definitely where I came from, that fucking door. Okay. There we go. Oh Jesus Christ! Start. Fuck! I'll have to do this without using too much oil. There we go. <laughs> the tension. The tension. Just too damn much. Shit! Isn't that where I came from? Actually, no, 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 no. Came from there. I must have skipped that and then just yeah ran ahead when I got the fucking monster chase. Me, whoops! There we go. Yeah, let's see. Ah, hit the lever, of course. Now, right, before I do, is there anything here that I'm missing? Whoopsie lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you. Probably not. <laughs> you guys, fuck it. I'm not going to stay in there for too long. Perfect. Oh, right, that must be, the, be for the heavy gates. Of course, the monster's still gonna be there. Okay. So now we, go, now we need to go back this way. Okay, come on. There we go. Jesus. Just love getting stalked like that, and I can't even fight back. No. Rifle. I was trying to think of a specific one from Stalker Misery, but I just couldn't remember. Oh well. Whoopsie long. <laughs> oh, okay, and I guess I'm not going back either. Actually, what the. Oh, there's a. I see, it's not particularly pleasant body parts. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, oh, what do you know? We did manage to get uh, some precious oil though. Perfect. So. Huh. Oh. oh, wait a minute, I think he's eating the body part that I threw in there. I'm assuming that's what he's doing. Okay, so I can actually distract him. Wait, is this meant to be a trap? Oh, shit. Actually, no, it might not be. Alright, so... Yeah, I can see a little valve thing there, so we'll just get this monster to start eating the that. Okay. God, fuck me, not this again. God, that is so annoying. Well, not bad, it is adding to the tension, but that's... Shit. Ah. Oh. Dead flesh can act as a distraction. Yeah, yeah, I fucking noticed. I just probably should have used more of it, it seems. Damn it. Not bad, not bad. Alright. So we are here, we've got this. There you go, just fucking have it all for like here. Okay, and it is busy. Or at least it was busy. Okay then. Oh. Okay. Okay, now let's just 
try to do this in a fucking hurry. I wonder if, if I can get this gate to close in time, would that actually be enough or not? There we go. Okay, now will it actually be able to follow me through there? Probably. Especially since I've still got these boxes to jump on. I'm assuming it's going to follow me in here. Oh man, man oh man. Just isn't my day today in this game, it seems. <laughs> anyway, hollow needle, a strong surgical needle. Maybe we can jab it, jab the monster with it. So, can I go through the door or not? Can I... No, oh, actually, wait a minute. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. <laughs> anyway, anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I think we'll just have to go through here and... Uh, oh, there we go. Locked with a simple lock. Oh, that's all we need the surgical needle for, presumably. And through we go. Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried, as the ocean swallowed him again. <laughs> well, that was a pretty well done sequence, I'll admit. Oh my god, not more. Not more. Oh well. Huh. Okay. Can't believe this barrel's actually working. I. Oh, there it is. Oh shit, and it's not working. Oh shit, of course it's like to tunnel through that. Okay then, so it tells me I'm going to uh, need to move quickly. Something tells me this is more of a time sequence. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Paramite and Scrab runs from Abe's Odyssey. And to a lesser extent, Abe's Exodus actually. Well, in any case, hopefully that should do the trick. It's definitely trying to get through. Damn. Oh, for fuck's sake, just fucking over. Shit. <laughs> fucking tension. Alright, let's just keep on going. Probably some objects I missed along the way, but that's alright. I think uh, that can be forgiven under these circumstances. There we go, back hole. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The lacquered hull of SS Hortensia glittered in the serving warm yellow light of a setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean, reading towards the coast, reaching towards the coast of Portugal, and he thought, Is this another dream? Well, it's one hell of a dream if it is one, I'll say that much. <laughs> oh, wow. And now we've got some nice Gothic architecture. Architecture, because why not? Yeah, Presumably towards a safe zone, or counts as a safe zone. Okay. Interesting statue. Can we do, do anything with that, right? Okay then. Yeah, pretty fancy. Oh, wait a minute. Did I see a hand? Ah, yep. I saw a hand, but I. Am I supposed to be manipulating this thing? Or what? Interesting. I something tells me I'm supposed to be dragging this thing along some sort of a pathway, but uh, am I supposed to be doing that at this point, or the fuck? I can oh, I can splash around in the water if I want to. I think that's all I'm doing. Okay. It's weird. Interesting how they introduced that bit of interactivity. So I was supposed to be going for there, but you know what, fuck it, I'm going to be going somewhere else. Oh, I can actually go through there, I wasn't expecting that to open. Well, before I go through there, actually, I think I'll go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, not 
Oh, that's sound of music. Guest room and guess another guest room. Study. Ah, that's what's screw. We'll go in those rooms first. He climbed out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock, and waited some more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. It's enough, mate. Okay. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Oh, great. Those thieving bastards. As if we didn't, didn't have enough to worry about. Yeah, well... Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, nothing in there anyway, it seems. Okay. Okay, the door of that. Uh, actually, no, wait a minute, that trans transfers us to a completely different area anyway. Now, there you go. That doesn't do much. Well, oh, we can't even light the damn fire. Truly a horror. Ants, ants. Well, not bad. The story is definitely intriguing so far. I mean, that underwater monster wasn't exactly explained, but that's alright. Perhaps some things are best left unexplained. Ooh, indeed. But anyway, and oh, what do you know? A little soda pop or laudanum, whatever the hell it's called. Nothing else. Nope. Perfect. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Well, of course their expedition will be screwed. It's a freaking horror game. What else is going to happen? Alright, I'm even. i uh, pretty sure I mentioned that a bit earlier on, in fact. Let's see. Oh, and spoiler alert, uh, the Algerians eventually get indep independence from France. So, yeah, there you go. Enjoy that spoiler. But anyway, uh, continuing onwards. Uh, have I seen that before? Probably. Continuing onwards, still haven't found... Haven't found uh, too much more in this room, so what the hell, let's just go on to the next one then. Still can't light. Oh, actually, wait, wait. Oh, what do you know? I can. Yeah, well, room's well lit up. Well lit up enough, though. Okay, we got the. Uh, fuck's sake. Okay, got this. Got some shirts. Huh. Guess we can hide in these things if need be. Just like in. Uh, it was uh, Hitman 4 when they had that come available. But anyway. So, what do you know? The expedition was uh, utterly screwed. Okay. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Oh, that sounds very reassuring. Oh, there we go. Crowbar, just like in Half-Life. I don't know what the hell is up with me in these references, but you know what's screwed, I'll keep up with them anyway. Alright, uh... Anything else? I think we've yep, got everything from here. Just need to get the uh, fancy schmancy notes. What if I can throw rocks at the monsters? Again, it probably wouldn't do much. Oh, am I supposed to assemble this, I wonder? Probably not. I hope not. It doesn't look like it'd be particularly easy of these controls. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. 
That was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Hmm. So I'm guessing... It must have been some deception. Maybe those pieces were fake, or maybe... Herbert had him... drugged or something? I don't know. Given the uh, differences in time there, who knows? Who knows? We shall find out, though. Probably. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, well, I think we've thoroughly explored what was here. Let's see what else we've got. Now, pitch go matter in a fucking broken lock. Yeah. Ready? Well, I guess that's that. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Exactly says much comfort to be had in any of this, but alright. Alright, on to the study. Maybe that'll shed some more light. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medi medicine cabinet had been overturned and they collapsed on the floor, reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Okay. Perhaps this is the work of the Algerians. Maybe, yeah. Uh, this is their struggle for independence. Who knows, eh? Who knows? Well, all I know is that the rooms are relatively well lit up, so... Something tells me something kooky is going to transpire soon. If I know my horror games. Oops. Yeah. Huh. Crystal clear. And yet the wobbly screen seems to indicate otherwise. Well, give it a light. Yeah. Anything else? No, purely not. indestructible windows. C completely indestructible windows, in fact. Yeah, it's got a note there. Anything else? Hmm. Get out of the fucking way, goddamn books. And let's see. Alright. Well, I guess there's only one thing to read. Okay, to my... Oh, hang on. It's a letter regarding the discovery to my most trusted servant, uh, God, servant, to my most trusted student and friend, Johann Ware. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus, Horty Torty. It was as it was told about, an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged, its colour washed while rich. Washed while rich. Okay. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Aldstadt. Oh, okay, it's near where we are, I think. Uh, investigating one of the antiquated, antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. Went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real, so there's more than one of them, it seems. <coughs> As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetched the orb from its fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. 
tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately, fortunately, they remained as I continued to my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colours of the forest were washed away before my eyes. Kept running through the brick bleak surroundings, the trees had turned to charcoal. Huh. Okay. Oh, whoops. The trees had turned charcoal black, with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land, as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps. Wait, I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard from the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. Last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Huh. Interesting how the Guardian didn't kill him, though. Yeah, your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Very uh, gripping indeed. No, not bad, not bad. Alright, anything else? So we explored that. Been through there, we've not explored this, I don't think. No. Oh. We can pick that up at least. Huh, this stuff looks rather important, but uh so we can't get through that it seems, that sucks. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look like there's anything we can actually pick up there. Yes, scrolls will light that up. How's our sanity? Crystal clear. I would have it no other way. So this is this is just a storage room. Come on, you'd think they'd give me something, just a tinderbox for my trouble. That's all I ask. It's not too much, is it? Yeah, apparently it is. I bet you there's probably some tinderbox hidden underneath all this crap, but eh, be damned if I'm gonna get to it after all that. Oh, what do you know? Speak of the devil. Pot of tea, governor? Alright, so that's that. Alright, well, let's see what is free here. Down the spookalicious corridor. More paintings. I'm sure they mean something, but honestly, I haven't really been paying too much attention to them. Okay, well, this level definitely uh, seems to be a bit more involved.